Hearing Your Voice. I'm Bonnie. I'm Caroline. And I'm Colette. And we welcome you to our kitchen. Yes, we are together for coffee. And we want friends to join us. And the only thing missing is you. So grab a coffee or a tea or maybe even a water and join us. A place where you can listen to stories each week and hear people's hearts. And in Recovering Your Voice, what we hope to do is hear stories from all walks of life and all ages. And we want to, through those stories, connect to people who can relate and can find help through these stories that are shared on Recovering Your Voice. We want to hear your stories, your stories of overcoming your stories of facing fears, your stories of authenticity of what you've gone through. We want to hear your heart in whatever circumstances you're facing. And why do you think that telling our story is important? Well, sometimes uh, we get stuck in life and we face challenges, but we overcome them. And it's always good for people to tell their stories because other people find hope from someone's story of overcoming. I think it's important because it's, it's so comforting to hear me too, that you're not alone in whatever you're walking through. And then we can journey together because a burden carried together is lighter just to come and join us. It's just like, let's just post something to introduce an invitation to come. We want to welcome, we want to invite, we want to uh, put value on them, listening to each other's story, hearing each other as individuals and personalizing, wanting them just because we want them, no conditions attached. Yes. We want to run after that sweet fragrance of fellowship, of that we touch each other's lives, you know, and leave something behind. That's my desire. Mm -hmm. Amen. We just care about loving, whether it's loving the Lord, loving each other, loving our guest, loving our audience, you know? Yes. Yes. Releasing the sweetness of that perfume out. And so often people think that we're so different from each other. We have such different ways of walking our, this life out. But in fact, when we share our stories, we find out that we're not different. We're actually the same. And we want to hear those stories that are going to connect us, that we're going to find out more about what your walk is. You know, it's, People always say we're so different or it's the differences that divide us, but it only takes one thing that we're the same. One thing can turn a, a life around completely because they've heard that story from someone and they you know, made contact with it and they said, me too. It's that one story that we wanna share that's going to help somebody else out there. We need to be challenged and what our truths are to see if they really stand up. And when you meet a person, it doesn't become a book. It becomes your hearts involved too. So we want to enter hearts together and have the me too, the me too of not being alone, the me too of, I didn't know you felt that way. You know, if I hadn't listened to people's stories, I'd still be walking in untruths. And that is so sad. We need to love each other enough to share our truth so we can grow and give a safe place to not make people change their truths either. And hearing someone's truth means that we, like, we might totally change our perspective of that person. You know, we may judge by the outward appearance of someone. We may judge by what they do or what they stand for. And then when we hear their story, 
we connect with that person and we realize that maybe I've looked at them wrong. Maybe I've judged them wrong. Maybe I need to take a better look at this. And so it brings us closer to each other. It's a building bridge theme that occurs. And so as we share on Recovering Your Voice, we hope that those bridges go out and that we, we become more empathetic, more compassionate, and more loving to those around us. Because the bottom line is that everyone and everyone's story has a value. And it's not whether or not we agree with them and with their decisions. Everyone has value, period. And connecting with them and their stories and uh, giving them that um, space where they can share without judgment uh, on our part, where they are accepted as they come, then we can connect relationally and they can perceive that they are accepted. We may not agree on all points, but what we do is express that they are valued as they are. Full stop, period. There's healing in telling your story, healing for you that you have recovered your voice and healing for others that are hearing your story because it grows them into seeing different points. I remember when I was in divorce care and took the course and what it did, what support groups do is they make you realize that you're not alone. So it might be a way of thinking and all of a sudden you talk and, and you hear others say the same thing and you go, oh, wow, me too. I didn't know that others felt that way. And then, it, so it's a revelation that you're not alone. It's a revelation that you're not insane. It's a revelation that, you know, there's hope around the corner that you might be able to get through it. We are three friends who joined each other for coffee. And we just wanted it to grow and hear your story too. Story Let's try that again. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, I know that I'm not going to like it. And Caroline, I know you're not going to like that you, you, you hesitated on the first word. So let's try it again. Okay, guys. I know. You know what it uh, is? It's us taking a selfie and we go, yeah, let me see what I look like here. <laughs> Okay, let's be honest. Okay, and it's out like, of the yeah, fifteen pictures, one. only one showed good. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Okay, pause, guys. <laughs> you know what? We're 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 trying too hard, people. Yes, we are. We're trying way too hard. Way too okay, hard. yeah, way too hard. Um, and and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're just gonna go. I'm just gonna jump, jump in, and where it goes, it goes. Okay. Right. Okay, I really need to shut this off, guys, because it's going off way too much. What? Oh, sorry, guys. And that means that, you know, we don't have to clean ourselves up or do whatever. This hair is going to be out with this hair, people. I tried this morning. <laughs> I'm just going to be here on the sidelines <laughs> listening. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Anything to add, Bonnie? Anything to add to that, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> no, like this, we're learning as we go here. I feel like we're learning how to ride a bike. <laughs> Which I never did very well. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Okay, we're just teasing. This is good. This is making me feel at home with you girls, okay? Because this is what it's all about. Okay. See what I don't mean, but you're going to have to edit me, guys. But you, you see what my heart is. <laughs> you see what my heart is, guys. We want authenticity. 
Yes. That's the most important thing. That's what humbleness is, is being real and exposed to each other and vulnerable, right? Can you hear the dog barking? Testing one, two, three. Yes. Oh, geez. How's that? <laughs> That's life. Okay. Yes. That's life. That's where we want to be, where life is happening. Okay. Cut, cut. Exactly. And <laughs> clean up on all five. Colette has just been there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the crazy aunt at the party that brings the entertainment, but not so much the polish. Okay. <laughs> well, you can start. I don't no, 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 no. You have no. to do the stitching together, Bonnie. So we'll just do the <laughs> clean up in aisle five, Bonnie. <laughs> clean up in aisle five. Okay, I'm teasing, guys. Okay. <laughs> Let's just play. Let's have fun, guys. Let's sure. forget it's recording. Okay. 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 I'm going to put a little happy face on top of that record sign. <laughs> I see it as we're at the side of the pool and you and me, Colette, are behind her and going, whoop! <laughs> to push me in? <laughs> <laughs> Do I get little wings and a little, you know, my, am I wearing my personal quotation device? <laughs> Oh I thought gosh. she was at first going to say, you know, well, Bonnie or Colette and I are side by side with her, you know, or lifting her up. Well, no, she's wings. pushing me into that pool. <laughs> Bonnie, at least water wings, right? The water, <laughs> water wings. Or little, little <laughs> tubes, you know, that the, it's a swan or something, you know, <laughs> something. <laughs> cool. Well, you can so be glad that at least I didn't say, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the road jack <laughs> it's good guys good <laughs> sounded good to me <laughs> sounded good to me but we will be adding more to it and we will be inviting more to but it's a start people i'm excited i think we're gonna have fun yes